Hi there, welcome to Ben's Astrophotography. Today, let's talk about narrowband processing, especially SHO, or so-called Hubble palette. As you probably know already, SHO, meaning S2 matched to red, H-alpha matched to green, and O3 matched to blue, is the most popular fake color palette ever since it was introduced by Hubble Space Telescope. The biggest challenge in SHO palette is star color. Lots of stars will show magenta in this palette. That's probably because S2 red is more sensitive to stars and signals from H alpha green is usually weakened to match the other channels. To fix this, a popular way is called tone mapping, meaning get rid of the stars temporarily, process the nebulosities alone for color balance, sharpening, and curves, then add the stars back in a later stage. This way, you can also avoid unnatural star shapes caused by higher contrast in nebulosity. So here, let me explain my workflow in a bird's eye view. First phase, I call it preps. I start from stacked SHO masters. O3 master usually has some light pollution. I should get rid of it in Astro Pixel Processor, APP for short. Then I should register and normalize all three masters to make sure they are aligned and have a neutral background. Then phase two, I move on to Pixing site. Do a deconvolution to sharpen both stars and nebulosity, and MLT to denoise the background. These two are the most important thing you should do in the linear stage. Linear stage means you haven't stretched the image and the signal count on each pixel is linear to the number of photons that your camera received during integration. In phase three, I stretch the masters, making them nonlinear because my next step, removing stars with Starnet++, only works for stretched images. When the stars are gone on all three masters, I will move on to phase 4 to do SHO combination with AIP's script. Then I will get this greenish image. But don't worry, SCNR will be able to fix the green hue in one second. Then a couple of color masks and curve transformations will really bring out the nebulosity in SHO color pattern. Once the color is good, I'll go ahead to phase 5, do some sharpening in Pixing Sight to squeeze out more details, then TGV denoise to reduce color noises before the next stage. In phase 6, I will continue with Photoshop. I combine the nebulosity with star background, then some levels, curves, and color adjustment. Last but not least, in phase 7, I get the image into Lightroom and see if its auto enhancement can really make it better. The whole process is a long journey. That's why I'm making this video to serve as a guide. I will continue with one video for each phase so that it won't be too long and easy to search. Hope you will like them. Thanks for watching and clear skies.